I'm coming representing Armstrong's Express in Bridgeville, but I also am a patron of probably at least seven different establishments here in, in the Bridgeville area. So I have both the perspective as a manager trying to run a business here, but also as a consumer trying to do business here. This new parking situation we have going on is not working. We are going to lose a tremendous amount of business. We already have. And we need to try to reassess this uh, pay station program. A um, couple of ideas for thoughts. Uh, for example, we had a customer, two handicapped elderly couple came in. They go from a handicapped spot, which is going to be close to your facility. They got to take their little scooters across the, the parking lot over the to do the pay station then wheel the way all the way back around to the restaurant. That is absolutely absurd. That's just a small little microcosm of the problems that we're facing. 75 cents for my customers, the LaBella Beans customers, to run in, pick up their food, and run back out. They're not going to do it. They've already, I've had people tell me, we are not coming down here anymore. There, it's blatant. It's in that blatant. Lunchtime business, there's two kiosks out there. A lunchtime and dinner business, there could be 10 to 15 people deep at those kiosks. Some people have a half hour of a lunch. They don't have 10 minutes to wait at the kiosks. And the kiosks, when you first come in, I've been, I've been in Armstrong for 10 years, and I don't, I see, I've watched that parking lot a lot out of our windows. People fly into that parking lot. I'm telling you right now, that is, a, that, that is a tragedy waiting to happen. A little kid who lets go of his mom's hand while she's trying to press buttons, a group of people in line, somebody come flying around that corner like they do. It's not a good scene from, from that standpoint as well. Obviously, I'm concerned about it for our business because I'm the manager. I, I'm trying to make sure our business stays good. I was just trying to patronize Dr. Mulling's facilities the other day. I'm lugging my dog across the parking lot in a pouring down rain trying to use this unuser friendly machine. It is not user friendly at all. And I'm thinking to myself, what are we doing here? It's just, I, I was downtown, used, I used that pay station downtown in 15 seconds and was gone and, and on my way. We really need to figure out how to address this problem, find maybe open parking for some people. I, I don't know what the answer is. But all I've seen in the last two, three years from the parking authority is a money grab. They've made, they've taken what were sort of like free areas to park and turned them into parking spaces. Um, I, my, we have people constantly asking our business to move a quarter mile down the road to brand new facilities in South Fayette, free parking, abundant parking. Something to think about because it's, I, I just, it's on our mind, and I know it's on our customers' mind. So I, I don't know what the solution is, right. but we need to talk about it. Um, no, I, I guess that you mentioned the parking authority, which is its own entity. Um, they meet, is it next Tuesday? Mm -hmm. uh, no, Monday, I believe. Monday, Monday. Monday. Yes, I was told to come here and there. That's perfect, because I was going to say, I'm glad that you brought this to our attention. <laughs> um, I will be at the meeting on Monday as well, because uh, I would assume that you're going to give them the same information you just gave us, and uh, I'll be, yes, Mary. I happen to concur with her. We have a woman who goes into a handicap slot who can barely make it from her car into our building. She's one of the ones that created the winning Christmas tree. Now, they suggested to me that she park down below at the kiosk, get out of her car, put the money in, or the information, and then go back up to the parking slot by the building and get out again. It, I'm sorry. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in this council. Very easy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's so uh, I don't know if you guys have any poll here, but. I don't, really, <laughs> I don't really feel like, I don't know how, I know it's in someone's identity, but it's got to be like, uh, you know, there yeah. has to be some heat put on the parking authority. Absolutely. And, that, can, and you have, between you and, and birds over there, you still put a lot of it. And um, well, let me ask this question.
I mean, I know they're a separate entity, obviously. Yes, they are. They operate. Because right. uh, I'm in complete agreement with you, and you're one of many people I've spoken to about it, um, including other business owners. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> and I experienced it myself. I mean, you have to memorize your, your license, license plate. plate. No, I mean, I don't know my license plate number. I walk back at it, as did the people who've been with me. I guess my biggest concern is that as us on council, I know it's a separate entity, and I'm, I'm aware of that. But I think this is now the second time in the last two years that something's happened with the parking authority that was detrimental to the Bridgeville citizens who've then come here to talk to us. And I think it might be something that we're going to have some issues with moving forward. I mean, we, they raised the prices last September. And um, just assuming that was to buy the new fancy parking things that don't work because whilst we can raise prices if we've done nothing different. So I think that's an issue. And I think that we as council need to. Keep, keep an eye on this and potentially in the future have a slightly different line with this because it is that, that is frustrating that we, we have this going on. And I don't like that we kind of don't have the. You know, it's like, actually two increases in the past. Right. Two. <laughs> it went from 25 cents an hour to 20, 25 cents for 20 minutes, and now it's a minimum of 75 cents. Right. So. And isn't there like a minimum on credit cards on the machine? Two dollars. Like two dollars. It, it's one dollar downtown. Yeah. Because I'm always here. Uh, I talked to the one guy that runs some of the parking authority, and he'll be like, "Well, my does this." I go, "We're not eleven. You know, so that you know, downtown it's, it's, it's one dollar. So you know? it's we're like so and so. And if I thought that the system it. helped and benefited, I would. I'm not, I'm all for change. I I, I get that part. It's of not a two dollar minimum. Well, yeah, that's what I've been told. I know. I mean, I don't. Um, but that's what they, they told me. And, and it's it, it's not beneficial. There's nothing. I don't know who benefits. I don't know where 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 what is better about this system, except maybe for them because now they don't have to wheel that thing around the like quarters. Does anyone know are those machines? Um, can they communicate with the new apps out there, like meter feed or thing? Can they be adapted to that? Supposedly. Yeah. The ones at Carnegie and Pittsburgh did. I believe, that's what's coming. please correct me if I'm incorrect, but I believe the Parking Authority is looking at getting an app for smartphones. There are apps that coordinate with the current system that the Parking Authority has, and I believe that they are looking very club carefully at adopting one of those apps in the very near future. Yeah, it'll be at our meeting next. Right. I mean, that could, that could address a lot of that issue. You're one person, one meter, you know, you're at your, your car. It doesn't address the cost. That's something that doesn't address. No, nobody pays for that. What's that? Nobody pays for that. Yeah, I was going to say, we have a... And it doesn't address the fact that people want to do it for... <laughs> just to pick up a uh, business uh, like Armstrong's LaBella Bean, or just going in there for to pick up an order for 15 minutes. This cries out. I know, Pat. I hear you. To allow our customers one hour, two hours, maybe even as many as three or four hours of free parking and place the burden for parking, the cost, on those people that wish to occupy spaces all day. Okay? It eliminates. All of the issues that are being brought up that eliminates the impediment to businesses in our community. It puts us on par with our competition in South Fayette and Collier. And it is relatively easy to implement, and it does not put the parking authority in a poor financial condition. I strongly recommend that the council and that the parking authority look at that idea. Day. I just want to say one thing also. A couple of years ago, the reason they put those kiosk things in, people were complaining about the parking. That, that it was birds, other people, merchants, like that. They didn't like the parking meters. They jacked up the prices and they went to the parking authority specifically asked to put the kiosk in, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Right. So, they got to fine tune the things. I agree wholeheartedly with Mary about the uh, handicapped people. That's terrible. I mean, those people can't do yeah. that. Money wise, I don't park down there all that often when I do it. Put the money and forget about it. 
And don't they have the free parking during Christmas anymore? They do. Yeah, they, they just started today. Uh, for so the, the last two weeks of the year, so and that's appreciated. I, I'm not even suggesting that it's free yeah. parking all the time, but I know probably 90 percent of my customers no longer put money in at all. They just run in and they say, "Hurry, give me my food," and then they get out of here. You plus said it's seventy-five cents. I mean, <laughs> now you're not getting anything. Better so, than the medic, right? Same thing. Especially so, if you look at there's three or four people standing in line at the kiosk. Yeah. Just weigh the options. Yeah. I'll take, I'll take my chance. Yeah. Just oh, some food for thought that we need to really contemplate because the competition is only going to get more severe as health Bay continues to grow and develop. I mean, it's right there around the corner, and it's a quarter mile. Going right up on the yes. Cross the river. Yep. yep. Penny all vodka. <laughs> I'll bring it over. <laughs> Thank you for Thank your time. You I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Eric Schmidt, please. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Parking meters for one. Most of the time there was oh, on there. <laughs> but uh, I, I will tell you that I work with this kind of equipment daily. I design touch screen interfaces. And uh, the problem with machines is the touch screen, the capacitive glass, and the LCD are really far space apart. So I went to Burgers last week, and I was behind an older gentleman. He was struggling. Couldn't get it to work. He's like, I, he's like, he was real good sport about it, good spirit. He's like, I'm going to let you go. I don't want to hold you up. So I started trying to, I'm like, sir, it's not you. <laughs> it's the machine. But the problem is the angle, the distance between the glass and the LCD is so far that when you're standing up, you think you're hitting one letter, but you're a letter above. You got to get down and look straight in at it to get it to work. I mean, usually when you repair a touchscreen phone or something, you order the glass and the LCD comes as one unit. The only reason to separate them is to save the cost. It's just something you could do. Um, also, the ones in Carnegie and Pittsburgh, they have the physical uh, keyboard. That, that's what makes it faster. That's why you're having a line of 15 people like you're saying at lunch. I mean, it was only a few people when I was there, but it took one person like two minutes to get through. I don't know, get through. Actually, didn't want to take my credit card either. Didn't like reading it. Burks took it. They didn't have a time to take my money, but the machine wouldn't take it. So I go back to the car, get quarters, come back. So between me and the older man, older gentleman there, I took a spot for a few minutes just to get to park. So uh, I, my, what I would advise is you gotta you gotta try this equipment out before you. Install it. Somebody should have the user test. Or you should have just said, if you want what they have in Carnegie. Um, it's 25 cents to park in Carnegie, by the way, for I think the first half hour. Um, so that's something to consider.